Hey guys, it's Ewok Pilot here today, and today we're going to be looking at a comparison between the official Lego figure and the official, or an AV figure's custom of the 212th Clone Trooper. Now, this is a video I wanted to do ever since I got this guy in the mail because I this is a fantastic figure. I was absolutely blown away by the quality that was put onto this figure. And I just wanted to see how Lego's official figure stacks up to someone's custom work. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Now, just to start things off, the blasters, the helmets, and the heads underneath of both of these figures are exactly identical. So to make things simpler, we're just going to move the blasters out of the way so that we can take a closer look at both of these guys. So starting off on the fronts, as you can see, Lego's official figure has only got very sparse detailing on the legs. It's not, it, it cuts off randomly just right there. Looks kind of weird, but it does look pretty good for a figure that came in a battle pack. And then right here, we've got their episode three style of printing as well as their episode three style of helmet, but we are not here to discuss the helmets. We got some battle damaging detail right there, and that's going to be about it for the front of the official figure. Then on AV figures, we've got a ton of detailing on the legs. We've got boot printing right here. We've got some of the design right there on the uh, ankles, on the knee pads, We've got the Clone War style of knee pad instead of the Episode 3 style of knee pad on this. And then we've got some better waist printing right here, I would say, because it's got this little divot right there and it goes even onto the centerpiece. And then on the belt right here, we've just got some printing that matches up absolutely perfectly with the torso. And then we've got the torso printing, which is relatively the same. Except the torso printing on this figure goes all the way to the sides. So it can wrap around to the side, which is something we'll get into later. And that's going to be pretty much it. There is no battle damaging on the AV Figures version. But there is battle damaging on the uh, official LEGO version. So next we're going to take a look at the sides, both the sides at the same time. So flipping these figures to the side immediately you see a lack of detail from Lego and you see no lack of detail from AV figures. They went above and beyond when detailing the sides of this figure. You can see right here, even on the side of the torso where the arms move, you have printing there and on the side of the legs, you have just as much detail as you did on the front, it even lines up, which is absolutely awesome. I think that's crazy. And then we've got, we've also got the armor plating on this while on Lego we just have a plain orange arm which is fine for the simplicity of Lego I understand why they do it this way but AV figures is a lot more detailed than Lego's version and it's the same on both sides for the AV figures we've got matching up printing right there and it wraps all the way around to the back now on Legos we're gonna start off with theirs you've just got it's actually inaccurate to design. We've got some of the stripe printing right there and we have some an orange line right there on the backpack, but that's not actually there on the actual trooper. And on AV figures, of course they took their, did their research and they, it is round on the back here on the actual clone in the movie. So that is absolutely awesome to see that they got that right on this figure. And something that's even more insane, Lego, as you can see, obviously, right here on the back of their legs. I've got nothing, just plain white. But AV figures, oh boy. There is just so much. They even printed the inside of the leg. That is how insane this detail is. That's crazy. And, of course, it matches up with everything. Of This is actually a misprint. So AV figures, normally it does match up all the way. I did get a misprint though, I ordered that. But this is a really, really nice figure. Overall, 
Lego's figure is good for the simplicity of Lego, but if you want highly detailed custom made figures, AV figures is the way to go. They're even higher quality than minifigs for you and Clone Army Customs. And if you do your own custom decals, it'll end up being a lot cheaper than buying from them as well. So that's that is absolutely awesome. I love this figure. If you ever have the opportunity to buy any AV figures, I would highly recommend it. And yeah, that's going to do it for this comparison video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.